we're gonna do a little drawing here of like how I'm trying to like plan out my little mini orchard. So we're gonna start off with uh, burning three. One, two, three, right there, and then we'll do 10, right there. <clears throat> so we'll start off with that. Um, it's easier to do it with this little grid paper just because it, you can use each square as like a measurement. And here I'm using each square as two feet. So we're gonna do that. Um, we're gonna start off with, this is where the garden gate's at, right? And the whole garden gate path is uh, six feet. So we'll do one, two, three. That's because of the six feet. And then we'll do a post there. We'll draw the circle for a post. And then north is this way. And then we're doing each grid at a two foot scale. And this is the mini orchard. And then the area where I pretty much have my southern fence over here, that that to this post is 67 feet. So pretty much from this post to the edge, I pretty much have 66 feet. And that has to do with the measurement of the southern fence. So it's roughly about 66 feet and we'll call this north to south and then we'll call this west to east. So with these measurements, I will measure, basically we'll just knock off to make it easy. We'll make this 66 feet and so it'll just be a square of 66 by 66. So let me do 66 this way and then let me do 66 that way. That's 20 feet. 40 feet, 60 feet, to 66. So we'll just draw a line up. That's pretty much my uh, southern perimeter fence. 66. Draw a line, da, da, da. and then three, three squares for it to be the sixth foot of the walkway. That pretty much just indicates the gate opens this way. And then we'll close the uh, top portion to pretty much just basically say that this is basically my orchard space. On the back portion, I have a little garden plot that I have just cleared. That one measures 59 by 40. And that has to do with the fact that after the orchard, there is a little uh, nature break. Garden path that way. And we'll continue the garden path this way. And then the actual like uh, tree break is uh, eight feet. So this length from here to the edge, both edges, that's 59 feet. And then from here that way would be 40 feet. So this is a garden space. Then the gate I got here is 16 feet, but you only need the 12 feet right here, 12 feet to drive the truck back or in the future plans that we're thinking of getting a tractor, like that's plenty enough space to drive that back there. The truck takes more space. So we're basically making the plans off the truck just so like we can have a basis of like every trail I make or anything like it's enough for my truck to fit in. We'll put a post there just because that's a gate post. And then 12 feet, we'll just drive it up. So from here to this point of this corner post to where I can plant a tree in the end, this is, it's 54 feet. So the actual size is 54 by 66. So at this point, we'll just draw a little like mesquite trees there will also be a natural break this way and on this side of the uh of the gate is also going to be another orchard so we'll just do this one orchard part two that won't be handled until like a couple of years from now um, but we'll stick to this one so now we'll talk about the sizes so 
we go with dwarf, semi-dwarf, and overall full. The dwarfs can go from like 8 feet to 12 feet of a diameter. And the semi-dwarfs can go from like 15 to, I believe, 20. And the full trees need like 30 to plus size uh, diameters. So in my scenario, the best thing to do is either choose dwarves or semi-dwarves. I don't really like to lean much to the dwarves, so we're just gonna stick to the semi-dwarves just because that's more available uh, for me to buy at the nursery that I'm going to get my trees at. We'll talk about the first few trees I'm, I'm thinking of uh, planting first. I'm definitely thinking of planting an apple, a peach, a cherry, and I'm thinking of giving a lemon. So continuing the whole like spacing, we need a 15 to 20 feet diameters. Uh, since this is a real small orchard, we're just gonna keep it at 15 just because we're trying to save space and everything. And just to remember like all this area is full of mesquite right now. All this is full of mesquite. There's a big mesquite here. There's a big mesquite somewhere in the center. And there's a big mesquite in the corner over here. There's a couple of big mesquites all up in here. But it's all full of mesquite, all full of brush. So it's not like I got a clean plot already. No, I got I got to I got to cut it out, carve it out, do all the work. So let's pretty much start just dropping out measurements of uh, how we're going to do this in the orchard area. Basically, what I'm going to do is I'm going to steal ground coverage. And by that, I mean is now a tree, even though it requires, let's say, the 15 to 20 feet, uh, we're going to try to do it uh, 14 feet. You know, we're going to steal that one foot. So we're just going to do a line of seven. So this is the line of seven. Now we are going to use the center foot of the seven, right? So we'll just take those two feet away as if it was a trunk of two feet. So we're basically just like doing the 14 feet and then the tree, the tree structure. So I'll draw it over here again and then we'll use the middle part. If that was a tree, then I'll just branch out like this. Just do however. So the whole point of us stealing is instead of having the fence per se all the way to the edge here, here's the fence, right? We'll steal three feet this way. One, two, three. One, two, three, four. So here's the middle part. So on and so forth. That's the tree. That's the fence. Uh, so as we're trying to do, it's it's a give or take. It's not going to be an exact um, like it's going to be dead center. It might be a little off, a little bit off over here. We'll probably plant it this way. How, however, however we dig the hole, um, well, we're pretty much stealing the diameter so that we can utilize that tree coverage because the tree will grow up and then out so we're stealing that so on a view let's say this is the gate All right, and the gate goes up this is the gate right here we're stealing these feet over here and then one two three four five six seven And so the tree would be right there at center. And this is the fence. This is the fence line. And the tree would be right there at that center. So we're stealing this area of three feet so that we can plant an extra tree in the back. That's pretty much what I mean, how we're going to steal uh, some footage. Now, the other thing is because the tree the other thing is let's say the tree grows somewhat like that 
right? We'll draw the gate with the gate path again. We can also steal four feet of the gate path as well. Let me draw that out. there would be the tree. Also to maximize uh, the space where we can pretty much plant a tree that we probably weren't able to plant all the way over here where the gate is at. This, this little line that goes down up like this, like a heartbeat thing, that's an accordion in the construction it goes because you're cutting you're cutting a little space. So you're contracting the space to show the other side. So here's the post and here's the fence. So the way, why we stole this as well is to maximize space to plant more fruit trees because over here where the gate is at, the other gate where the truck can go in, um, we were gonna miss a tree there. So we did. So we stole this because we wanted to plant that extra tree. Um, now let me draw it again. So that'll be in like another tree. And the other thing it would be that this will like tunnel out. It will tunnel the path. We'll draw the tunnel now per foot. Instead of every square being two feet, we'll draw the, we'll draw the uh, gate path at every foot. There's a post here. And then there's a post there. So the whole thing would be, there would be a tree here. In the future, in this section of the orchard, there'll probably be another fruit tree right there. So in essence, if we draw like the path, like going that way to the garden spaces, the fruit trees themselves on the edges will tunnel, right? Will tunnel the actual path. <clears throat> so remember, we're stealing footage, air footage, not ground footage, air footage and ground footage because you basically need that diameter um, but it's more for like their branches and their roots and everything um, so it's not like there's gonna be like something physically there it's just gonna be something in the center and the tree grows out like I said the tree grows up the tree grows out so we're stealing that footage of the bottom so this is how we're gonna plan it out we're stealing the three from the bottom, which is six feet, and we're stealing the two from the path, which is four feet. And at the center should be the tree. So we'll do the same thing for all the other ones. Should be a tree around there, should be a tree around there. Now for the next set of trees, we're gonna move it slightly. We're gonna move it two feet. So instead of stealing six feet, we're only gonna steal four feet. Instead of stealing four, we're supposed to steal two. So all this changes to that, and then this changes to up here, and then this changes to outside. And then we'll do it again for the next line, which will be we steal the six feet again. And another one there. We'll steal the two feet. And then we'll follow the straight line this way. And then we got the lines of the previous one that we fixed. <clears throat> so in this mini orchard, I'm supposed to basically end up with 20 trees. Doing this little off planning helps the actual growth a lot and actually gives you more space to plant. The spacing for the tree itself is a, a lot better because if you imagine it as like a circle, you, you see this space in the center. 
if it was a conventional a tree there and it does this little square in the center this allows it to pretty much grow out a little more naturally just because this isn't in line it's a little off but let me redraw this for you that way we can like pretty much wrap this up So that's pretty much it, how the plan's supposed to look like. But like I said, all this out there is just full of mesquite, you know, full of brush right now. So I have to get rid of that before I can even like plant anything. So I'm basically gonna stick with those trees I mentioned, the apple, the peach, the cherry, the lemon. And, um, but I was, uh, as I was drawing this, I was thinking of just changing the whole orientation of where I'm gonna plant uh, those trees. Um, so I'm going to be working with probably the first row next to the, the path and probably the second row with the path. Uh, I'm going to start by plant, uh, I'm going to start by planting, um, the cherry in the first one, the apple, the peach, uh, something else. And then that I have no idea what it's going to be. It could probably be like a plum or something. And then an apricot. I'm going to put the apricot in the back. Um, the lemon, um, I'm going to clear out the space that should go right here on this area. On the other side of the gate. And I'm going to put the lemon there. Um, that's just because I'm thinking of doing cherry, 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 cherry. Apple, 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 apple. Peach, 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 peach. Uh, if it's a plum, it's gonna be plum, 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 plum. If it's something else, it's gonna be the same thing. You know, those four. And then Africa, 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 Africa. Um, they won't be all the same, um, but that's how I'm thinking of planting the trees. Uh, so this might be a sour cherry, this might be a sour cherry, and this might be a different type of sour cherry. And then this might be just a, like a like a table fruit cherry, and the same thing with the apple. This is gonna be a certain type of apple. This could probably be the same. These two could probably be different, but same as a pear. And then a peach, a peach, maybe a different one, maybe a different one. Maybe as I buy these, as I go on, uh, maybe all these would be the same. Um, class but it would be a different variety so I might have four different types of cherries or in the end probably just two different ones same thing you know two different two to four different types of apples and so on and so forth um, I might instead of a plum I might give it a go with a pear um, but that fourth tree I still don't know uh, so those are the, the trees I'm thinking of planting uh, a cherry, an apple, a peach, a plum or a pear, and an apricot, and then a lemon on this side of the garden path. But thank you for joining us on this episode of Luxal Sul Ranch, where we basically just draw out how basically the mini orchard's going to be. You know, sizes of, you know, how I'm placing them and everything. Um, please uh, comment, like, subscribe. If you don't like something, let us know, ask questions, and we'll get back to you. Thank you.